Hi and welcome to this episode on Purchase Automation with Enterprise. I'm Sharon from Enterprise and in this session we will look at how you can very simply upload your PDF invoices from your suppliers. You can do that manually or simply forward them onto your central email address where they will be scanned in automatically and uploaded into your invoicing. So let's take a look at what you need to enable the purchase automation. So at purchase automation, you're going to save yourself time from manually inputting your purchase invoices on a day to day basis. So starting off here in settings and into module settings, there is now a new window. If we scroll on down here to invoice automation, here we can tick the box for enabled. Email the invoices to, so this is the central email address that all PDF invoices will be sent to within your organization. Under accept emails from, so this is a list of the users within your organization that you have designated to forward on PDFs to the central email address. So this is a security feature to ensure that only PDFs accepted from these addresses will get forwarded on to this central email address. So very simply, click on the plus sign here to add a row, add in the email address and save. And once you've completed all the additions, then you can save here at the bottom. And just to note as well, it confirms as well your allowance for the month of how many scans you have remaining. So let's click on save. And now let's go back into purchasing. So before we look at the email coming through the central email, Let's go into purchasing. And now we have a new tile showing here called invoice automation. And within invoice automation, it simply lists a list of all the scanned invoices that you've processed so far. These scanned invoices will obviously remain here on screen until of course they have been edited, updated or approved or simply rejected. So here we have an option here. We click on the three dots you can see the option to approve, reject or edit. So as the scanned invoices come through, you'll be able to check on the details, who the customer is for, that details, reference number, that's the supplier reference, the upload date, invoice date, due date, the total for the invoice and the automation status. So let's simply look at how an invoice comes through once it comes through from a forwarded on from the central email address. So currently we can see there we've got a total number of 281 invoices. So let's look at what happens when the invoice comes through from the central email. So here we have a simple example of an invoice with a PDF attached for Anthony Smith. And this is the address here for the central email address that we have stored in the database. So let's simply click on send. So now we're back in enterprise and when we click into the invoice automation, you can see there the number of invoices has now increased to 282. It was 281 and we can see that the invoice has now been added and we can see that we can see all the reference numbers, the supplier details, the upload date. We could, however, also do a manual upload of the same PDF if you chose to. So simply clicking on here on the upload button, you can simply drag or drop a PDF file here or select a PDF from the list. So now let's simply click here on the three dots. And from here, you can see that we can approve, reject or edit. So if we go into edit at this point, what we can do obviously is look over the details of the invoice and confirm that everything is correct. Populate any custom fields that you would normally update when adding your invoice, if you so wish. You can, of course, add any additional lines at this point, if you so wish as well. So in addition to that, you can confirm the line details are correct and pricing, and you can see the totals that would have come in directly from the, from the PDF. So in addition to that as well, what you can do then is to match to related documents. So what is a related document? Well, a related document is any open orders, purchase orders, or any open purchase deliveries. So if you have any open documents, we can simply select those documents here. So for example, all the open deliveries and orders will appear for this particular supplier. And we can select the one relevant for this particular line. So let's just 
grab that here as well. So we can just link to any open documents, just as an example here. And in addition to that as well, we can of course save, so we can save for later. So we don't actually have to, at this point, the invoice is still only a draft. So by saving, you're only saving the draft invoice. So it hasn't gotten posted to the GL accounts just yet. You can of course still reject it, but if we're happy with all of the details, we can simply now click on approve. And just to note as well, you can preview the original document. So by previewing the original document, it'll take you through to the PDF that you added to that particular invoice. Okay, great. So when you're happy with all of the details, and again, up here at the top of the screen, any notices or actions that you're required to take will be identified here. Notices won't prevent you from accepting the invoice or from approving it. So just any red actions would be required for you to carry out. So let's click on approve at this point. And when we click on approve, you will see that reference number 202 is now gone from the list. It's not gone completely, obviously, because obviously what we have here is a status column. And at the moment, it's set to show only open draft invoices that are waiting to be approved. We can, of course, reduce this and just look at those that are complete. So those, any of those invoices that have been approved or any invoices that have been rejected. So now if we come over to our list of invoices, and if we just look at all invoices, we can see there the invoice here at the top of the screen for Anthony Smith. We can see there the supplier reference 202, and we can see that that has been added now as a full invoice to the system, and any relevant GL account postings have now occurred as a result. So we can see here it's linked to journal number 37122, so all the automation in terms of your GL accounts and any relevant postings have now occurred also within the system. So I can drill into the journal entry and see all the relevant postings in regards to that particular invoice for Anthony Smith and any stock postings as well. So thank you for watching. And if you require any further help, please check out our help articles on help.enterprise.com or reach out to our support colleagues on the chat. They're always there to help you. Thanks for watching.